Hey guys, as you can see, um, the picture that you see on my screen right here is going to be a patch. Um, and it's of a girl. And you can see she's got a gold chain on her earrings, her bracelet. Um, it looks like she could have like some locks in her hair. She got on blue jeans. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer and y'all can get a better look. There she go right here. And she also has big old pink lips with some pink um lipstick on so i'm going to be stitching this out as a patch for somebody um and as you can tell i got a numerous of color changes as you can see she's got like a two top kind of sort of with the skin out on the side um sneakers blue jeans i don't know if this it could be like bubble gum i can't really tell but it looks like pink lips but it could be like she's blowing up bubble gum maybe and her ball cap turned to the back. Um, I did do the design placement, the app that you can put on your phone. Um, I already done that. So this will probably be another video that I would do to show you guys how to do the design placement, which means, as you can see, this is a screenshot picture of what I'm doing. Um, and what it does is it screenshots your, um, your hoop. And as you can tell that y'all know that I already use like, um, like scrap stuff. And as you can tell, this is like a scrap piece of um, stabilizer. As you can see, it's a little hole right there that I had already cut. But you can move your design around on the picture that I just showed you guys. So that way it wouldn't catch this hole. And I don't have all this filled in either over here, as you can see. So piece that's not fitting all the way over here didn't fit all the way across which I don't need it to because the patch is going to stitch right up in this area right here and that's where I placed it at um if you don't understand the design design placement which I, like I said I will do another video and I probably should have did it before I done this one but actually this is my first time doing the design placement um like I said it's just so much to learn with this machine right here that I have, it's a lot to learn. And I'm just taking my time, learning a little bit by a little bit, not in no rush, but I'm going to um, get ready to thread my machine, which is gonna be the colors that you see down here. This is the dark brown, and this is like the skin tone, which I'm assuming the dark brown is probably like her hair. And this is the color that I'm gonna use right here. And this is the color that I'm gonna use for like her brown skin tone so let me go ahead and um loop my not loop let me go ahead and start my machine off once i can get this um thread going think about it when you use a new thread you gotta it's a certain way you gotta start it and pull it out and all that good stuff yeah it's a lot to it People don't understand. They think that, I guess, when you're doing embroidery, all they see is the after. Um, they see the after product. They don't see everything you had to go through behind the scenes. And sometimes it is a headache. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start um, thread my machine. And I do have a lot of color stops for this because, as you can see, that picture has a lot of um, different colors, which I'm okay with that. Um, I need to clip the end of this thread to make it a nice clean cut because I'm self-threading this. I do have a self-threader machine, but like I said, I think I bent it. So it won't do the self threading now. All right, I heard that little pop. And that lets me know that it's been fed through that little piece. And now all I have to do is just put the um, thread through the little needle hole. And like I said, once you get used to doing this, it's like candy. Like, eh, you don't even have to have good eyes to do it. Well, I take that back, you do. And I don't have good eyes, so 
can already see this is going to be a nightmare right here. So let me, I'm sorry that this thing is shaking, y'all. I'm so sorry. Oh, where are my scissors? I got so many scissors, y'all. And here I am using these scissors. These are my everyday scissors right here. That we, I let my husband have used these scissors. But I got like scissors that's strictly for my sewing and crafting. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sit it up here and use it like this. I'm sorry y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Uh, I wish I could show y'all. But I get tired of moving this dirty on camera around. Alright, so. I am getting ready to hit the start. So this can start stitching out. Alright, everything is a go. And as you can see, I can hit the start button. I tell you what, let me go in a little closer so y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to hit the start button. Y'all can see the light is lit up, which means it's ready to go. Try to push it up so y'all can see. Something about this thing, it kind of moves. And let me focus in. So what I do is I hold my little piece until it catches. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start. And let it catch. And some people will go in. I'm going to stop. And like I said, some people will go in and cut this little tail, which I'm going to also do. Um, I got to get my dag on. Someone says this out. And I don't know where none of my crap is. I called, I cleaned the dresser off, but I just don't know where I put my little bag with my scissors and stuff in it. I don't know, because I would like to cut this piece off, and this ain't going to do it. Well, it did. Well, it did cut off some. I just don't want that little piece in the way. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the start button again. And it's gonna pick up where it left Okay, it is in here. And you know how I know where it's at? Because if you look on the screen, you can see it. change and like I said I can tell because it tells me on the screen color change and this is the closest that I can get to that which it looks like it's head on I'm going to take this color out right here that's the dark dark brown I'm going to take that out and just bear with me while I change that out to put the next one in and like I said these are new thread um thread spools. I hadn't used these yet. And I gotta pick them out good. 
So I'm going to hit this check mark, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unthread, I'm going to undo this. And what I'm doing right now as to why I am quiet is because I am unthreading this color so I can thread the other color, if that makes sense. So, I'm just undoing this one. All right. Now, I'm getting ready to thread this color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift... up so I can see it I think I did a video on threading this um, sapphire I'm not sure I think I did though um, I'm going to check my stuff and see if I hadn't if I did and if I hadn't I will go and do a um, video threading this machine because I know sometimes Everybody don't know how to thread a sewing machine. They're basically the same. Just about all the machines that I've dealt with. And like I said, my first machine was a brother. And they had numbers on there to it. Tells you pretty much one, two, three. Walks you through it. This one doesn't have numbers on it. But it's pretty much the same thing that you're doing pretty much. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to hit this start button. And like I said, this is gonna stitch the skin, I believe. All right, let me hit the stop because I am getting ready to take out this. I'm gonna have to go get my other scissors because these ain't made for this. It's not. Because I like to get a, a closer cut. Alright, well, let me go ahead and hit the start and I'm going. And I'll zoom back in so you can see. Video, so don't even go there with me if anybody got anything. 
not red, but it's like a orangey red. I need to see if I have it. And if I don't, what I do is I just pick something for this. It don't have to be the exact colors that they have here. You can use whatever colors you want. And this is my color chart here for the threads that I have. And the first color that I used was this one right here, 038. see my red in here okay here's my red i'm just going to use the red right here y'all i'm just going to use this red all right so it is time for me to cut this rest of it I'm just gonna pull down because like I say you really don't want to mess your machine up by trying to save a little couple pieces of thread um you really are supposed to just cut the thread from the top and you shouldn't be having to go back backwards on it so let me click that all right here I'm coming in now with the red and I believe this is going to be either her underwear which I can see a little piece of it's like she's got her little thongs um pulled up and that used to be the style back in the day when the thong song came out with Cisco you all know what I'm talking about where you automatically intentionally let your thong show like you were pulling way up and you would wear the jeans low enough to where you could see the top part of your thongs yeah that's the stuff we done back in the day And I meant to tell y'all last time when I got quiet, it was only because I'm trying to thread this needle. Like I said, I'm not bad at it, but a lot of times you do have to concentrate. Oh, see, look at that. It's split. So, let me cut this. I should have tried to cut the little piece off anyway. But I'm always trying to be stingy and frugal. And it ends up costing me. I still got to cut some more because it is not threading. This thread ain't threading, y'all, as they say. All right, now I think I got a nice clean cut. All right, I'm probably going to get quiet again because I'm threading the needle once again. And sometimes which I just done it. You can like lick, not lick it, but you can like wet the bottom, the end of your thread and it kind of holds the thread back together if it starts splitting on you. You can like put the tip of it in your mouth and like wet it and it'll hold the thread back together. All right, so now I'm about to hit the start button. that's not your piece that's you know that's um really yeah but I tell you that's the little piece of her underwear y'all
my next color I think is white. So This piece is white. So let me go ahead and change the thread. Like I told you, it's going to be a lot of um, stops of thread. Like, yeah. All right. I just changed this one. And it's, ah! Oh my God. Yeah, I'm sorry I hollered y'all ear, but I dropped my thread and I didn't want it to unravel and roll all over the floor then I gotta roll it all back up but it didn't get too far from me and I think what I'm gonna do while I'm in here I'm gonna go ahead and hit these jump stitches wow I thought I turned my jump stitch um but no one to automatically cut them but it's not cutting so it's either and which I learned I thought just because you turn the jump stitch button I want to cut if it's not been programmed if it hasn't been digitized in your um design that you're um doing then it's not gonna cut they have to digitize it so that's a bummer so it doesn't matter if you have the jump thread button that you can hit to cut them off or what if it hasn't been programmed into digitizing when they made this embroidery file then it ain't gonna work and i'm like what well, dang what's the purpose of having the dag on y'all i'll be right back i gotta go get my scissors oh let me see they might be in this drawer i know i move my stuff because I was straightening up when it was in the other drawer down at the bottom. Alright, let me check this drawer. Uh oh. It's not in there. I know I didn't move it too far from my sewing machine. But I'll be back. back again y'all as you can see i got my handy dandy embroidery scissors and it's their flamingos they're cute so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these jump stitches while i'm right here because waiting to the end to cut all the stuff i need some more um scissors i was gonna order some from amazon but to be honest, I don't need no more scissors. Actually, I just want these just for jump sticks. And they have some strictly for um, cutting jump stitches. I forgot what the name. They got a name like Froggy or something. I don't know, something. Some kind of name. But yeah, I like to get these jump stitches on out the way. All right, let's hit the start. And now we're on the white thread, which I think is going to do the top of her pants. It looks like they're frayed. Thank you. 
trying to call in twice, but I'm doing a video and I hate when I start doing my video. I have everybody calling in. And I hadn't been on here till now. And then as soon as I get on here, then they want to call in. I'm like, really? Like, you just, it's like they knew. It's like they knew when I was getting on here. It's like, all right, let me wait till she starts, you know, doing what she's doing, and I'm going to call her. I really don't do that. I'm cutting the jump stitch, y'all. I can't stand these jump stitches. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to get a, um, a top of the line home machine. Because I know it did the jump stitch cutting for you. And then only to find out that if it's not in the daggone... Um, digitizing file it ain't gonna work no way like oh really y'all i wish i would have known this before i got it it probably still wouldn't have stopped me from getting it no way because that's one thing about me like, if i want something i'm gonna get it i don't care who had what problems with it with what you know unless and it's just a mess that everybody just you know, don't like, or it's like a lot of bad reviews, I won't get it. But like I said, I know everybody has their own opinion about stuff and what I might like, you might like. I can't say because I don't like it, you ain't gonna like it because, you know, Everybody got their own way of things. Everybody got their own touch of things. So, I can't tell you just because I don't like it for you not to get it. Because it may work perfect for you. I mean, I will read the reviews and stuff like that. But, I don't let that stop me from getting something. Because this person didn't like it or, you know... Sometimes a lot of this stuff is user error. And I will say, because I know when I first got this machine right here, the Sapphire 85, I was like, this thing is trash. It is garbage. Said, it's already acting up. I ain't even had it two days. And uh, yeah, but come to find out it was me. And I'll admit to it. So now we're on the blue color. And I think they're starting. Stitch, um, stitch cutting. Jump stitch cutting. See how he's doing the shaping of the blue jean. So my next color will be like a lighter jean color.
it's going to change to a blue color, like a lighter blue. So I'm going to switch out that. I take this off. This is my next color. It's like a lighter blue for like lighter jeans. Like I said, when I used to watch people do this embroidery stuff, I'm like, how in the heck can they deal with all this, these stops and keep changing this thread? I'm like, that's a nightmare all in one. But now as I do it, it's not as bad. It really isn't. That was the quiet time, y'all. Y'all know what I was doing. Like I said, I was doing the um, thread and the needle. And I'm going to also cut this jump thread while I'm at it. I mean, sometimes it's best to do it after you get it out of the hoop. And that way you can see better. You don't want to accidentally cut your other threads. No, 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 you do you definitely don't want to do that. Definitely not. And I do apologize. Sometimes it's probably going to get quiet in here. I know, I'm sorry. But... It's kind of hard to talk over this machine while it's loud like that. So, I'm about to hit start. All right, and stopping so I can cut this. Too big to be under it. All right, start.
add another color change, which is pink. Let me go ahead and stop that now. And like I said, I do believe that is bubblegum that's in her mouth. I thought it was like big pink lips, but no, I think it's a big old bubble. She's blowing with the bubblegum. So let me get the pink out. Like I said, it's so many color changes. But once you see your end results and you're looking like, oh, that's pretty. It's worth it after a while, after you do it. And I am just threading the machine once again with the pink. I don't know about y'all, but I love to just hear the machines when they just make noise. I could probably go to sleep off of somebody's sewing, like a sewing machine sound. I could probably literally go to sleep. Um, no cat, like really. I love the sound of that. All right, I'm going to hit go with the pink. just disappears I guess it goes under the design so now I won't be holding the end of my thread anymore yeah okay change the thread which is now going to be black so let me take the pink out and once I get my pink out we will see I will grab the black right now I can tell you how many changes I've had because I got the threads out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm about to be on the eighth. Just gotta get my black thread. Uh I know it's somewhere. If it ain't this time, I definitely got plenty of black thread. Which is right here. I got my black thread. So I'm gonna thread this real quick. And as you can see Oh, I don't have y'all on the design. I was going to say, if you can see, the black thread is going to stitch out her little um, top. I think it's like a tube top or something. And I definitely need to go and probably when I get my machine serviced, I'm going to get them to fix this needle threader. Because that does save a lot of time to just let it self-thread itself. Well, not self-thread, but like, you know, self-thread needle. Like it just puts the puts it through the eye hole itself without you having to do it. It saves a little time. I will notice, like if I'm in a rush or something, I cannot get that string, that thread through that hole for nothing. All right. Now, I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Like I said, y'all see this a black shirt. So I had to change to the black thread. So now I'm going to put y'all back over here. And like I tell y'all how I said I used to hold um, my thread. I'm not going to hold it. I see now that if I don't hold it, it catches and it just goes under the design. So I'm going to lay it here. 
And I'm going to hit start and y'all will see that. Well, you're not even going to see it. But if y'all look right here, y'all see the little thread. Let me see if I can zoom. I don't think about it. I cannot zoom in. I don't know why it's not letting me. But anyway, y'all keep your eye right here. I think you can see the faint little line here. And y'all will see the little thing disappear. See? It snatches it under. It's gone. change and it's um like a yellow it don't look like a bright yellow but it's a yellow okay i see what it is it's more like the gold because i'm guessing that's for the necklace and like i said i do have actually i got gold embroidery thread i might use that yeah that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this gold. Oh, yeah, honey. How am I getting this out? I don't even put it in here, really. I have no earthly idea. Alright, I got it. Yep, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the gold, y'all. I'm doing the gold embroidery thread. I should have showed y'all. And it's got a little shine to it. You know, the little metallic. You know, like I said, a lot of these machines do not like the metallic thread for whatever reason. I don't know. But I know my brother machine did not like it. This machine... I don't think it really liked it either. But I think more so with this machine, it was a, a certain brand that it didn't like. So, depends on what kind of brand you use. And I know this one is... Um, hold on, I'll look at it in a minute. I'm trying to thread this needle, y'all. Alright, I got that threaded. And now, let me go ahead and... Drop it under the foot. Like I said, I always do that. I don't know why, but I do. And I see I'm going to have to cut this thread because it's going to be a problem. I see it's splitting. Um, what was this thread by? I don't know. But this is the 
gold embroidery thread that I'm going to use and it is for her necklace earrings and bracelet I'm assuming that's what the gold is for so this is good to use for that so I'm going to go on back over here let me put my thread back up and we'll get ready to let it rip I really wish y'all could get in a little closer and see I don't know why it's not letting me zoom in this time but oh well I'm going to hit and start Pieces I was telling y'all about on the side of her shirt. Yeah, I just want to try to zoom in and show you guys. So I just took the phone off of the stand. I know I'm going to change you, honey. Now it's going to go back to the black. So I'm going to put this phone back on here. Hopefully I don't hit nothing I ain't supposed to. Okay, honey. Get it back on. All right. So we're changing the thread again to um, black again. So I'm sorry y'all, it was quiet. I was trying to roll this thread back up, the metallic. It's a certain way I rolled that up. All right, so I'm putting the black thread back on. So when I count my thread stops again, I will count the black twice. Because I technically got all the thread I, that I've been having to use for these um, color stops. And this might be the last. I have to look and see. I think so because it says three more minutes. So I think this is the last one. And I'm going to count them and see how many. Is, um, if y'all see my face in it, it's because I um, kind of tried to wet the thread with my mouth. All right, it's finally through the hole. All right, and I 
think this is the last one because it says three minutes. And I think what it's going to do is going to put the little pleats in the jeans. I'm trying to show y'all what I'm talking about. crafters or embroiderers love to see this sign right here when it says you are finished baby so let me click this and i will definitely be showing y'all what this looks like um once i take it off the hoop so i'm going to remove this off the hoop so it's a little push lever over here you just push this down and then you just pull this off. And y'all, here is the patch, y'all. She fine, she girl. She is fine, honey. So what I'm going to do is, you see all these jump stitches all across my baby's face. I'm going to clean all that up. So if y'all can sit patiently while I do that, and I'll be right back. I'll let y'all look at her while I do this so y'all won't be just looking at nothing. <laughs> so, it's time to get rid of these jump stitches. The thing is, with the jump stitches, you just have to be careful because you don't want to cut um, any of your design cut those threads because it will unravel and then you just messed up the whole thing because now it's unraveling on you so you just got to be careful when you're doing the jump stitches cutting them Let me get some tweezers so I can pull the thread with those and cut them. And then once you um, cut your jump stitches, if you want to, if they don't look clean to you, like, you can still see some of them sticking up that you can't really get because they're so short. 
you can always take a match or a lighter or whatever and put it to it and that way it'll burn them burn them down but don't set your patch on fire though but it'll burn your stitches down it'll burn those ones down that you can't get I'm almost finished y'all. I'm just trying to get a few more jump stitches and then I am done. Well, I'm not done with the patch. I'm done with the machine part, but now I have to go and make it into a patch because it's not automatically a patch. You have to do some other steps to make it a patch. An iron on patch at that. <clears throat> then once I do that, then I'm done. But I'm trying to be careful with these ones that are going across her face. I'm not. I want to cut the wrong thing because this one is a little tight. And these scissors are not as thin. Come on. I don't want it to look like you got wrinkles on your forehead. I'm trying to get this black stitch out. I don't want to cut the brown stitch because then that's in your face. And I don't want to mess that up. Well, I'm going to just show y'all anyway. This is the patch. And I'm not done yet, but I have to get these out right here because it's going to look like she's got wrinkles across her forehead and she don't. And I even like this, y'all. Check this out. They even embroidered the little gold button on her britches. Look at that. Y'all see that? The gold button on her britches, honey. That is too cute. Y'all see? Fire. But, yeah, this is the patch. It came out really nice. I'm loving the little side of her shirt with the little strings with her little skin showing. It is too cute. But anyway, I am going to work on these two little stitches that's right here across her face so I can get those off so it won't look like she's mad or she's got wrinkles in her face. But I love the jean look. I love how they did the shadowing and the lighter, and I just love it. So whoever digitized this, they did awesome. And I like how they outlined the whole patch afterwards. Well, I keep saying patch because it's, it's not necessarily a patch. It's an embroidery design. I am making it a patch because this is what they ask for. But it could be anything and not necessarily a patch. But this is what it's going to get turned into a patch. Oh, yeah. We always got to check out the back side, honey, to see how the back look, honey. Oh, yeah. The back don't look bad. At least it ain't all knotted up. So, I would say another successful project on the Husqvarna Sapphire 88, baby. Thank you guys for watching. As always, be blessed.